is BHD Army. It is your boy Blasphemous HD. And a lot of you guys might not know this man, but I was actually thinking about becoming a stand-up comedian a while ago. And it's really funny, too, because I keep seeing such suck-ass comedians get money that I'm like, damn, nigga, I might really have to get out here and do this shit. Nigga, because I make me laugh. I think my shit is funny. Damn it. And I'm seeing all these other niggas like Mike Epps and shit. Niggas is giving this nigga money to get on stage and perform material that is not good. It is just all the way bad. <laughs> he's, he's being paid for this. <laughs> Mike Epps is the based god of comedy. <laughs> oh man, niggas gonna be crazy. Well, thank you, Mike Epps, for the laughter that you didn't give us. I don't know, man. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, I'm pretty sure some people think he's funny. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, comedy is subjective. You know, what you think is funny, some other people might not think is funny. I just don't see it. But then again, me, I'm a, a fan of the wetter humor-having type comedians. You know, Richard Pryor, uh, Eddie Murphy, Cat Williams, Kevin Hart. Guys like that, man. Guys with a lot more charisma. Cedric the Entertainer. But today we're here to watch uh, this video. It's called Comedian Rex Mom Heckler Who Gets Offended by His Parenting Jokes. This shit should be good. It is by Steve Hofstetter. <laughs> if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is in the description down below. One of these days, if some things change for me, man, I might end up jumping into stand-up. I went and did stand-up one time, and it went well, but I didn't know it went well. And I hear if you're doing stand-up, dude, it takes like literally years and years and years for you to get put on. Let's do this. Whoa, oh, it's a powerful one. I had a bag of hot Cheetos earlier. That's where all this gas is coming from. Every now and then, a heckler just walks into material. And I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> Because parents walk around like having a kid makes you special, and that's not true. Raising a good kid, that makes you special. <laughs> Statistically, too many of you are applauding, but... <laughs> some of you right now are like, that's true. Mine's in juvie, but I put someone else. I know someone else. Mine's got this math problem, but it's... Yo, dude, do you know how hard it is to find an actually funny fucking comedian? And this guy is legitimately fucking funny. Like, it's really funny, too, because in my mind, I'm like, you know, only the big name guys are actually funny. When it's just creepy, like, listening to this guy just lets you know, like, there's people out there who are not big names, you know, and they're, like, possibly small guys, and they're really freaking actually hilarious. I need to find some of these people. <laughs> It takes more effort to order a pizza than it does to have a child. Bullshit. Bullshit. Well, tell me, hold on, I got this, tell me this. What? Has anyone ever ordered a pizza by accident? <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> I can't handle a whole, a whole pizza. I'm only 15. <laughs> very upset by this. I said I haven't had any. First of all, I've had a lot of fucking pizza. Here's the thing. You can't just kids so you don't know anything about kids because here's the thing I've never flown a helicopter if I saw one in a tree I could still be like dude fucked up Fundamentally mentally wrong, you can just tell. 
You a sports fan at all, Miss? You a sports fan? Sure. Who's your, who's your favorite team? Redskins. Big Redskins fan. Uh, sometimes when the Redskins play and they don't win, do you get mad? Saturday, don't get mad. Well, let me rephrase my question. Do you ever get upset? I'm a Redskins fan, do or die. You're a Redskins fan, do or die. Well, have you ever played professional football? So what the fuck do you know about football? Man? Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and if you want to see me live, go to the calendar page on my website, that's stevehoffsetter.com, click on calendar, and find out when I'm coming to a town near you. Yo, this motherfucker is actually fucking funny, man. Finding a funny comedian, I swear to God, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, man. It's so fucking hard these days, because everyone thinks they're hilarious. Hell, I think I'm funny. I could be up here sucking shit. You know what I mean? Doing these videos and whatnot, man. Y'all could not even be wanting to hear my commentary at all. But to me, I think my speech is on fleek. This dude is actually fucking funny. He murdered this chick. He killed her with her own fucking opinion. Her own shit. The shit she was flinging. He caught the shit and threw it right back into her face. And her mouth was open. She got poop on her teeth and her tongue. It is in there. That is good fucking shit. I really fucking enjoyed that. But yo, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is in the description down below. His name is Steve Hofsetter. Man, make sure to Google him. Look him up. Lord knows I am. I'm going to be looking up for some more of his material. But he, he roasted that chick. He killed her with her own shit. Uh, Twisms. That was fucking funny.